Hello, this is Father Louis Skurdy, continuing our cultural series as part of Friends of the Word. We are in Burr, B-I-R-R, County Offaly, in Ireland. And we are at the Parish Church of St. Brendan's, 1817. It's a beautiful structure made with local stone. It has the images of a castle, both up on top and on the sides. And next to it, over my shoulder, you see a little bit of what used to be the convent of the Sisters of Mercy. In 1961, that building was refurbished and structured as the town council, and it still preserves a lot of the beauty of the, the cloister as well as the chapel of that convent, the Sisters of Mercy. Let's go inside and check out the beauty of St. Brendan's Church, Burr of the church we have this sign indicates a little bit of the history of the church from 1817 to the present when even through the alterations and remodeling in 1836 and 1970 st brendan's church Bureau. we're inside st Brendan's Church. And one thing I want to remark first is the beautiful tile. We see that at so many of the churches, you don't need a carpet when you have a tile like this running up the center of the church. The beauty of this church is that it maintains much of its original flavor. The architecture adjusted the sanctuary and brought out a new altar, relatively new, for the reconstruction post-Vatican II, but yet it maintains the original rear dos, which is somewhat Gothic in design. And on both sides of the sanctuary or balconies, I presume for choir, but you know what? When these were built, they were probably for the women and the men were sitting below. And the choir, well, maybe everyone was part of the choir. And there is a beautiful choir loft above with beautiful organ pipes on display, and the ever-present St. Patrick statue. The beautiful windows depict scenes of the life of the Sisters of Mercy, the saints who founded the Sisters of Mercy, and the life of Jesus Christ and his followers. The Stations of the Cross are painted and very sizable, and the structure has seemed to have adapted what would have been the confessionals to little chapels on either side, and in place of the confessionals or rooms. Let's go into the sanctuary. All the churches in Ireland, and mo probably most of Europe, if there are any sense about them, is are CCTV monitored. Regrettably, it's needed and it's wise. So we're not going to enter the sanctuary because they're usually monitored. But you see the beautiful lectern, which was the pulpit originally, and they reconstructed it and placed it there. The main altar has a beautiful pieta under it. And over the top of the main altar area, the reredos depicts the Blessed Sacrament and the glory of the beauty of the church with the saints and angels on either side. So once again, looking at the churches in Ireland, here we are in County Offaly, we appreciate the beauty of the architecture when they were originally built, during times of persecution as well. And yet, with the hard work and love and labor of the people of Ireland, these churches went up and give glory to God even to today. And we pray each time we enter a church for the people of Ireland, the faith that all of us need to increase in our lives, and especially during this year of mercy, the appreciation of the gift that God has given us, love and mercy. This has been Father Louis Skurdy with Friends of the Word on our cultural segment featuring some of the churches in the Midlands of Ireland. Have a good day and pass this on to your family and friends. Let me hear from you. Father Lou Skurdy at hotmail.com.